Okay. Well, a fun fact for those of you in thinking about getting VR, the uh, Horizons client doesn't like to run VR in anything but full screen mode. But Odyssey actually uh, just uses your default desktop resolution, so um, the end result is a superior VR recording for, for those purposes. And I have to say, Looking around a ship's cockpit in full 3D makes a really significant difference. Hang on, my uh, to reset my display position here. That's better. So I'm at the Guardian Ruins, and I figure since I've never actually been to a surface site in VR, that you guys ought to experience it from the perspective of somebody who's never, until this exact moment, used VR in an SRV. Low gravity warning. Ah, there we go. Whoa. Okay. Oh, this is actually really cool. Oh my gosh, this is going to give me motion sickness, I can already tell. Wow, the ground has weird textures. I never noticed them until right at this moment. Tires actually look like they're deforming a little bit as they touch the ground, like they're full of air. Or maybe they're just, oh, they're just clipping through the ground. Okay. This is a painfully slow way to drive, I know, but if I drive any faster I start to feel nauseous. Ground smooths out a little bit once we get up closer to the ruins. take the pillow off the back of my gaming chair here so that I can look. Oh wow, yeah. Straight up. Oh, this is really cool. You can see my middle tire back there. I can't tell what my frame rates are. They have a mask on. They feel like they're running a little low. I'm just gonna drive this thing the way I drive my razor when I'm doing technical obstacles. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Under attack. That probably doesn't. Make me look too good. Where's my reverse button? There it is. Okay, I need to. I need to get my turret on. There it is. Oh! Turret mode kicks ass! I love this! I'm getting a lot of stuttering now. I think these are... I think the lighting can't make sense of my headset. Am I in the wrong fire group? Yes, I am. Oh, and now I let my weapons capacitor drain all the way out. Okay. Ooh. 
That's more like it. This is a really great perspective. It's like I'm sitting behind the gun. Let's see, I think... Ship dismissed. That's not what I wanted. Where did I put my cargo scoop? Oh, whatever. That's actually going to come back to bite me when I finish this run. Guess I should get on with it. I love being able to look off axis from where my gun is aiming. Depth perception means I can put my tires exactly where I want them. I don't have to guess through limited perspective. Let's see, I've lost my sense of orientation. I think. I think the Guardian computer system is directly ahead. Oh, wow. Guardians had a pretty strong sense of perspective. They seem like they were pretty big dudes. I don't know if you guys can see the distortion that I'm experiencing on my, uh, on my camera feed, but it's actually giving me, it might be, it might give me an eyeball headache here after a little while if I'm not careful. Let's see about turning. Yeah, I'm less fond of that. Buggeroos. Where did I put that cargo scoop button? I know I've got my cargo scoop button around here somewhere. Drive assist on. Drive assist off. Wrong button. That's not it either. Crap, it's such a dumb thing to forget. There it is. Okay, now I've got the bit that starts the party. Once we prime the jukebox. Getting more interface distortion that I'm pretty sure is just a VR bug. Oh, it's not a VR bug. My frames are tanky. That's what it is. I just put my uh, computer in overclock mode. Hoping the fan doesn't come through on the recording. Seems to be helping just a little bit. All right, back in the turret here. All right, timer's 
running. Let's see. I don't need a lot of engine power. But I will need a lot of systems power here. I love the uh, atmosphere. Really Dangerous has always done a really good job of that element of sitting in a ship or maneuvering through an environment. Even if you're just driving around in a little buggy like this alone on an empty dead planet. Ruins definitely like Got more angry boys here. All right, angry pointy boy is dead. I'm trying to find that other. around. Oh, there it is. I turned too soon. Gotta say, turret view is much better for VR, since you aren't forced to sit close to the ground and watch all the pylon here in the center. There's the ones I charged over by the, the uh, I can't remember what the hell that thing's called. I call it the Guardian computer, but I know that's super vague. Network hub, server farm, whatever their version of system link. It's all kind of escaping my brain right now, even though I know it. it probably makes me sound like a retard, but I don't know. Maybe. These things are so much cooler. Once you get a good picture of just how tall they are. This actually makes me really excited for the new SRV that they're working on. I hope that it supports VR. Because if it does, the gunner's seat with a VR headset is going to kick a lot of ass. It's going to feel like you're in the middle of a movie. Feels like a movie right now. Pylon. I wish someone would actually build one of these things. The SRV would sell like hotcakes to the off-road community. Might have to scale it down a little bit to fit on public roads. But six-wheel drive is a pretty cool idea. If only it could be done at a price point that the regular person could afford. 
But in the meantime, I guess we'll all have to settle for Polaris Bridges. I don't even have to lock on. There's the last pylon. That's gonna kick the hornet's nest. Here we go. Under attack. Weapons capacity barely hanging on here. The dedicated gunner seat in the SRV means that the difficulty level of these capacities can increase. Because you've got someone whose only job is to fight these things. The driver can focus on perfect positioning while the gunner focuses on perfect sight lines. That looks like a good position. And then dump the cargo. And it should trigger the final event. Switch fire groups. Wow. Scan. Scan complete. All right, hornet's nest again. Here we go. like how much these things get hung up on the environment. Pathfinding definitely isn't very good. I don't think it ever has been. You get a good SRV map figured out and it's just not that hard to fight them anymore. Although VR definitely increases the uh, dramatic nature of the fight. And this is where I pay for fat fingering my dismiss ship button. I'm trying to hunt for my cargo scoop button. Let's try flying. Make sure I pump all my extra power in. Oh yeah. Oh, I can actually see my own thruster points. That's perfect. And check my distance. 132. I feel like the thruster system is very understated in this game. You can actually buy a car that can fly, or I guess jump. Let's try this again. Ship recalled. Alright, that worked. Wow. 
Wow. Loving that skybox. Oh, my head's about to clip through the environment. Oh man, I hope my ship didn't park itself, stupid. I want to be able to fit under here without getting clipping. Clipping issues. There we go. Perfectly centered. And back in. Ah. You can see the cargo scoop closing. Alright, I'm just gonna pick my ship up. And bring her in a little bit closer for the sake of convenience. Then I'll probably rework my uh, button maps so that I don't accidentally fat finger the dismiss button looking for something else. Here we go. And touchdown. These wide open cockpit canopies mean so much more when you can look around freely. Oh, wait a minute. I've never been able to read the writing on top of this little cockpit thing. What does it say? Drive unit system diagnostic, and it gives me an IP address. Communications relay tested. Cargo upload interface and another IP address. Communication systems online. I guess, what is this? It's 23, no. Somewhere in the year 3000, so more than a thousand years in the future, everyone's still running their starships on IPv4. Okay. Well, it's taking everybody forever to get on IPv6. Maybe it just takes that long. <laughs> anyway, that's what I got for today, guys. I'm probably gonna do a Maybe another run or two. I came out here to get blueprints for the new salvation modules. I've already spent all the ones that I had, so um, that stuff will hopefully appear in a video here coming up soon. In the meantime, I will catch you guys later.